And this is almost out of a movie. One of the main people behind this now national school policy to hide gender transitions of little kids from parents was the bald-headed, lipstick-wearing, stiletto-having, luggage-stealing, nuclear waste official from the Biden administration, Sam Brinton, who, if this were a cartoon, if this were a comic book, which increasingly our country seems to be, this guy would be one of the big supervillains. He looks like it, he acts like it, and this guy was behind the policy that now instructs schools to keep this sexual grooming from parents. Because before Sam Brinton worked in the Biden administration, he worked for a terrible group called the Trevor Project. Now, the Trevor Project seems like it has a really good mission. The Trevor Project, part of its mission, it says, is to prevent LGBT youths from killing themselves. Well, that's, that's a worthwhile endeavor. We don't want LGBT youths or any other youths to kill themselves. And so that's a great thing. But in practice, that's not what the Trevor Project does. In practice, what the Trevor Project does is works overtime to indoctrinate kids into radical LGBT ideology. It works to promote transgenderism for ever younger groups of people. We're talking about major mutilations, uh, disfigurements that will last a whole lifetime that could sterilize kids. All it does is work to do all it works to do, rather, is to double down on this crazy ideology. And so when Brinton was working for the Trevor Project in 2019, he was directing advocacy and government affairs there. He helped create a model uh, for school district policy for suicide prevention. And the model has been adopted, at least partially, by state education departments in Arizona, Idaho, as well as local school districts in California, New Hampshire, Oregon. Other states, including Washington and New Jersey, have similar policies. And and the, the model is don't tell parents when their kids start getting into the weird sex stuff. That's the model. And it's hard even to talk about it because they say, well, we're doing this to prevent suicides. And it reminds me of every abusive relationship you've ever heard of. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Every abusive relationship, when it gets really, really bad, they say, if you don't do exactly what I want, I'm going to kill myself. And, and it's this kind of emotional blackmail and exploitation and manipulation where even the people made of the toughest stuff will very often give in. It's just, well, I don't, I don't want that to happen. And what the Trevor Project does here, what Sam Brinton does here, is even worse. Because they're saying, if you don't give us exactly what we want, your kid is going to kill himself. And what do we want? We want you to pump your kid full of hormones, put your kid on puberty blockers, eventually chop off your kid's genitals, and pretend that your little son is actually your little daughter, or your little daughter is actually your, your little son. And if you don't do that, your kid is going to kill himself. That's what they're saying. Evil, evil stuff. And not true, by the way, not backed up by any evidence whatsoever. No evidence that the gender transition and the various mutilations that go along with it actually reduce suicide rates among people who suffer this sexual and gender confusion. Zero evidence. There's a lot of evidence that people come to regret their transitions, even though the number of people who have ever gone through these procedures is extraordinarily small. It's growing very quickly. And so now we're finally starting to see the first round of people who are beginning to regret this. And they're coming out and they're saying, I've destroyed my body. I've ruined my voice. I've ruined my hair. I'm sterile. How on earth could adults have allowed a 14-year-old to do this sort of thing? We're finally hearing that. The Trevor Project, Sam Brinton, these school districts in Indiana and Maine, all over the country, they say, no, forget about that. Ignore that. If you don't engage in the radical, insane ideology to mutilate and castrate your kids, well, they're just going to kill themselves and you're going to have that blood on your hands. Can you imagine? Why does Sam Brinton care so much about your kids? Why do all these people, they're all the same. They're all, you know there are all these weirdo guidance counselors like the guy up in Maine, the 26-year-old. I think he's a guy who knows. He goes by Sam, which I guess is gender ambiguous. But who knows? Well, he, I guess he presents as a guy, so let's call him a guy. Why is he so interested in a 13-year-old girl and psychosexually grooming her? Why is Sam Brinton? I think a large part of the reason why these people are so focused on your kids and driving a wedge between you and your kids and perverting the mind and body of your kids is in, is in large part because they don't have kids themselves. 
I'm not saying they would abuse their children or sexually abuse their children or anything like that. I'm saying when people have children, they raise their children in the way that they want them to be raised. If you're a Christian family, you're going to raise your kids to be Christian. If you're a Jewish family, you're going to raise your kids to be Jewish. If you're a weird lib, you're going to raise your kids, or you're going to at least try to raise your kids to be a weird lib. But these people don't have kids. And so I think they're I strongly suspect their natural longings to form the next generation are just being projected onto your kids, where there is so much less accountability, where they are so much more willing to engage in radical kind of behaviors because they won't have to deal with any of the consequences. The rest of the show continues now. Uh, Today is not Music Monday, but we're making it Music Monday because you know I'm a pop maven. I was on the road yesterday. It was a little tricky to do the member block. So uh, Ben Davies, says that I am now going to complete the pop music trifecta. We have done T-Swift. We have done the Biebs. Now we are moving on to Ed Sheeran. If you're not a member, click the link in the description and join us.